think we've all dreamed about escaping reality to a vacation home, somewhere south, maybe a beach. Well, the thought of escaping reality is taking on a whole new meeting for Darren Kittleson. He's a realtor here in Madison who owns a timeshare down in Mexico. When he tried to sell it recently, he went through a third-party timeshare exit business to get it done, and it seemed so legitimate. Now remember, Darren understands this industry because he's a realty broker himself. He did the research, he looked up the company online, saw it had a physical address, he even called and talked to someone there. So, when Westwood Realty kept asking for more money in tax fees, insurance costs, etc., it took him wiring more than $24,000 in all before he finally realized something was wrong. <laughs> it's awful. I mean, that's, uh, th th and it's, that's real money. And, uh, you know, and I should know better. That's the other thing. I think the thing for the first month or two, once I realized what was going on, I'm like, you know, I've been in this industry for 30 years, and then I fall prey to this one. How can somebody be taken like this? But the story is so real. I mean, that's like any other bank statement I get with any bank. And Even the bank statements used in this scam seemed professional to Darren. But a new study by the Better Business Bureau says this case isn't uncommon. So what can you do? Here are a couple of things you should think about if you're trying to get your timeshare off of your hands. Number one, try and sell it through your timeshare company first, or even consider going through a realtor to get it done. Look up that that broker is properly licensed online, and then call and talk to them immediately. Though, again, this is a step Darren took, and it still wasn't enough. Also, always use a credit card. The BBB says it's heard of a number of cases in which folks have actually gotten a full refund from these scams because they used the right piece of plastic. And of course, you want to make sure you're filing a report with the right agencies to help protect other people against these scams. We have a list of all of these tips and others up on channel3000.com right now. With this News 3 Now call for action, I'm Leah Lynchide.